Hey guys, it's Izzy, and today in this video, I'm going to be talking to you guys about the coconut girl aesthetic. <laughs> Starting off, what is the coconut girl aesthetic? The coconut girl aesthetic consists of portraying a beach vibe like you live on an island and you eat acai bowls for a living. <laughs> this aesthetic also has trends from the early 2000s. To me personally, it reminds me of Zoe 101. I love the aesthetic, but unfortunately I don't live by the ocean, so I can't walk around in my bikini top and mini skirt everywhere. Um, but honestly, that is just how I want to live my life. I love that. Just walking around in your little city by the ocean, going to get smoothies with a couple of your friends, and then going to the beach just to either tan, maybe surf. <laughs> it just sounds so fun. I want to have that life so, so bad. But at the same time, I also want to live in the city. Like, I love the city. So, like, it's just, I don't know. This trend reminds me of... When you're on vacation, let's say at Santa Monica, and you're all tan, you have salt water in your hair from spending all day in the ocean, you have sun-kissed cheeks, and you just feel so glowy and fresh. I don't know if anyone has experienced this. I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty sure someone else has. When I go on vacation, and after I spend all day at the ocean, I come back to like the hotel, and I just take a shower. It just feels so nice, and then looking at myself in the mirror after the shower and seeing how tan and glowy I look, I just feel so good. I don't know, I feel really pretty. But this is what the trend reminds me of, it's just vacation time or just, you know, actually having this lifestyle. But let's get real for a second. Silence. But unfortunately, since this aesthetic is solemnly based around living near the ocean or why did i sound aussie <laughs> i sounded australian or living on an island this can contribute to overpopulation or over tourism and even oppression on indigenous people people visit like hawaii for example and they don't know the history of it and they just don't care like there's people who come in to come onto the island and trash it they don't care about the land they don't use the right sunscreen and they're just really rude to the people who actually you know are born and raised there and they just have no respect whatsoever and then people complain about how expensive it is it's like it's because you guys are visiting <laughs> and people are moving there it's expensive because it's just so overpopulated and i think that is why people who are indigenous to the land they get upset because it's like if you don't like it here then leave <laughs> you know like go back but i would just like to remind people that if you are visiting these islands you know do your research respect their land culture and do not forget to use reef safe sunscreen i honestly i'm gonna be honest with you um i honestly had no idea that was a thing until i'd say like a few months ago i was just on like hawaii tiktok and i was like oh, i want to live there so bad just because i love the ocean so much like 
it makes me happy <laughs> and then someone was talking about how they get upset when people aren't using reef safe sunscreen and i was like wait that's a thing like i didn't know sunscreen was harmful to reefs but i'm glad that i do now it's just like you you don't know what you should know that's the thing like some people they have no idea that that hawaiians get upset when people visit or like you know move there it's just you know remind people keep people you know woke anyways so the ultimate question is what do coconut girls wear well let me tell you when i look on pinterest i see a lot of pastel colors and sets but a print that has been very very popular recently is the hibiscus print and personally i love this flower it's one of my favorite flowers apart from the rose i know i'm a rose girl i have a lot of different shirts that have the hibiscus flower on it and i just i love it so much i also see a lot of colorful tank tops with you know different like logos and prints on it the hibiscus flower also maxi skirts and mini skirts again very 2000s um, we love a good maxi skirt. I have a couple of them and they're just They're so easy to throw on you can just throw on a maxi skirt a pair of shoes a tank top Boom, You got yourself a cute ass outfit right there. <laughs> also bikinis, of course, you know wearing a bikini out Maybe throw on an oversized t-shirt, you know, maybe like the visco girls also knit I see a lot of cute knitted tops and then some accessories that I have also noticed that are very popular are platform flip-flops bringing it back to the 90s slash 2000s claw clips either you know just the basic claw clips that everybody knows or hibiscus clips you know the little cute flower ones that you can put on your hair also pura via bracelets i am actually wearing one right now um i'm poor so i only have one <laughs> i feel like pura via is a little pricey yeah pura via anything honestly and then sunnies sunglasses preferably preferably colorful ones pastels you know the basics orange yellow purple pink i feel like that can be a song yellow pink purple uh orange pink purple uh i don't even know what i'm doing at this point point. and then hats of course bucket hats baseball caps anything that can protect your face from the sun sun hats <laughs> and then tote bags you know if you want to go to the city and you just want to maybe go shopping you put your towel in the bag if you want to put your polaroid camera in there chapstick some sunscreen you know maybe a book then get yourself a tote bag i've noticed that there's a new sort of coconut girl trend going on i honestly don't know what i would call it other than the guava island aesthetic it's basically the same thing which if you have never heard of it or seen guava island on prime video then it's basically just a musical film full of donald glover's music it's honestly such a vibe it has rihanna in it i'm just gonna show you some pictures of what i mean by how this aesthetic reminds me of guava island it's very brazilian um very jamaican i just love it okay makes me want to visit brazil <laughs> but obviously it is a spin-off from the coconut girl aesthetic but at the same time i think it's more realistic like it's people who actually live there born and raised i feel like the coconut girl aesthetic is more for the rich when this aesthetic is more for i guess like lower class which honestly i don't mind i like it okay there's nothing wrong with being lower class if you live by the ocean <laughs> i feel like just living by the ocean makes everything better i just ugh. at least for me okay i love the ocean okay you could send me off to an island with a couple of things in a bag and i'd be happy i'd be i'd be content okay i love the ocean so much but a couple of movies that i would like to mention that are kind of coconut girl is a blue crush soul surfer aquamarine lilo and stitch of course i love that movie it's one of my favorite disney movies moana she's all that rip girls in a show that is very coconut girl is h2o just add water of course we can't forget the mermaids with that being said 
that is the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you guys got some inspo for this summer. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, of course. And I will see you guys in another video. Bye.